Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Redis CLI server on Ubuntu hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Redis. So simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this product page from where you want to accept the terms and wait for the subscription validation to complete. Once the subscription validation is complete, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. So when you're satisfied with these settings, simply click on continue to launch. And then you would be brought to this page from where you can choose to launch the ECT from either the website, which is this one or from the EC2 management console. So I'm going to change it from the website to EC2 and then click on launch. So that is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab and I can customize my virtual machine in this tab. So give your virtual machine a name, let's say Redis CLI and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down even more and choose the instance type according to your requirements. Scroll down and choose the key pair by either creating a new key pair or by choosing an already existing one. But remember that this is the key pair that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. After that, simply click on launch instance. And then you would be prompted that an instance was successfully launched. So you can click on instances to view all of the instances. And this instance in the pending state is our newly created instance. So simply wait for this virtual machine to change its state from pending to running. And the next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. So for that, simply right click on your virtual machine and then click on connect. And then from the SSH client type, simply copy this command and paste it inside a command prompt or a PowerShell. After pasting in the command, you need to replace this path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. Now after replacing the path, simply hit enter and when you are prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. After that, you would be able to log into the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. Now, if you want to check for the installation of Redis, you can run the command redis hyphen CLI space ping and you will get the output as pong. Now this is because the Redis service is already running on this newly created virtual machine as this image already included an installed version of Redis. Now to log into Redis CLI, you can type the command as redis hyphen CLI. So that should open up the Redis shell. And in this Redis shell, you can run commands like set, let's say my key equal to password. And then you can use get to fetch that password as well. So this means that our Redis CLI is working perfectly. Now, if you want to change the configuration for Redis or if you want to see the configuration for Redis, then this Redis installation is set on default configuration. So to view the configuration, type in the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash redis forward slash redis dot configuration. Now in here, you can see options like the bind, which binds it to the local host. And we have the port number as well, which is 6379 TCP backlog timeout and the keep alive time. You can change these values as per your requirement. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon and for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up Redis on Ubuntu hosted on Amazon Web Services. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.